story time! So, my friend Jacob, this guy, you'll see him later, and I were sitting in a Discord call, and I was working on a project, not for this channel, but for something else, and I was showing him a new console that I had created within Unity that would allow me to type in commands and everything, and to show him that I could use these commands and how it worked, added a plain cube to the scene, and I was using commands to make it spin and move, and that quickly devolved into... And this man decides to hit me with the, hey, you should make this into a game. And I then hit him back with the no. That's a horrible idea. No one would ever play that game. All right, so this game is gonna consist of a few things. To start off, we're gonna have some sort of succulent space crystal. Don't ask me about the crystal, I haven't gotten that far into the lore yet. Now with this crystal, there will be a structure built around it to extract its power! I'm calling this the REV. This, creatively, means the rotating extraction vehicle. Now almost every part within the game will have these little build nodes on them. And this will allow you to use the power of a shop and some sort of currency to expand your REV using things such as structure parts, which will allow you to make the REV larger and larger until you inevitably break the game because I never said I was gonna make the game well. And thrusters, which will allow you to make spin. But in order to properly make spin, you are going to need fuel to power said thrusters. Therefore, fuel costs currency, parts cost currency, but spin makes currency. You starting to see what I'm getting at here? Now on top of all this, there will be other aspects to the game, because I just can't make it uh, complicated enough, such as research, upgrades, auto-generation of fuels, and the largest one, mass. Because, you know, if you have more parts, you have more mass, which means you need more thrust, which means you have more parts, which means you have more mass, which means you need more thrust, which means you have more parts, which means more mass, which means more thrust, more parts, more mass, more thrust, more parts, more mass, more thrust, Jacob Square. <sighs> now that all the important details have been figured out, it was time to begin the prototyping phase. Is it done? Did you finish? I then quickly got the project set up on GitHub before using absolutely zero programming to set up a square that had basic spin. So to show that off, I can just uh, uh, put, take this, put this here. Yeah, that looks about right. And play. All right, so the top square should hit the bottom square. Uh, uh, you didn't see that. Now these two squares should hit each other and. So now that I had properly implemented the spin, it was time for me to actually have to start programming and implement the construct. As mentioned before, every structure part will have these build nodes on it, and when you click the build node, it'll build the new structure part onto the- uh, It's pretty straightforward, you can see how it works. To test this properly, I also implemented some basic structure parts, such as the square, rectangle, and triangle. The only problem is as of right now, if I want to switch what part I'm placing, I have to go into the editor and manually drag the new part into the corresponding slot. And so to make life easier, and because not everyone's going to have the Unity editor when they play this game... Unless... No, I don't want to see the world burn on that level, okay? I went ahead and implemented a basic UI that dynamically populates based on a list of available parts within the game that I create. Now that I could select different parts and actually expand the REV properly, I finally started working on implementing thrusters so that we could spin the REV. Problem is, this didn't go exactly as planned. All right, so I went ahead and refactored the way that placing parts worked, so it'll look- Visually- oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what's happening? 
Why, why is it still getting smaller? How, how does this even work? What did I change? I don't understand what I could have possibly done. Enhance! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks good. Looks right. Looks correct. I think. Eh. No, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't set the parent. Once I got that problem figured out, I was finally able to fully implement thrusters. So if I just go here, and I plop one of these thrusters down here, and then press space, look at the speed! Oh my god, it's working! Although I do think I can make this a little bit better. Oh, uh, yeah, that works. All right, let's try this. Now that the very base mechanics of the game have been implemented, I can start working on layering some of that extra stuff on top. Things such as fuel and fuel tanks that will be required for the thrusters to work properly. Some basic camera scrolling mechanics so that you can go bigger and therefore obviously better. And I finally got fed up and decided to replace one of the most disgustingly made triangles I had ever seen in my life with something I'm much more happy with. I also went ahead and added a little stats panel to show you stats that are already being calculated by Unity's physics system. I... I did nothing. I deserve literally none of the credit here. That being said, one thing that I can take credit for is the currency. Kind of. Also, not really. So, listen. If this game is played correctly the way that I designed it, and you better play it correctly or else I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna... <clears throat> If the game is played the way I think it's gonna be played, it's gonna involve numbers. Big numbers. Very big numbers. Okay, maybe not that big. Numbers that are too big for even the modern 64-bit computer to handle. So after doing a little bit of research on what the best ways to do this are... Perfect. I came across this GitHub of... You damn bark while I'm speaking? I came across this GitHub repo called Break Infinity that allows me to sacrifice precision of numbers in order to get much, much larger numbers. Which is exactly what I'm looking for, so, uh... That's why I only get, uh, part of the credit for this. And I bet you're wondering, wasn't there supposed to be, like, some sort of succulent space crystal inside of the REV? Well, you might want to get your eyes checked, because it's literally right there. I mean, look at this. I'll just go back a little bit here. It's literally been there the whole time. You're just wrong. And now that that's been established, I have something to admit. I'm tired. Of this prototype part! I mean, look at it! It's so boring and flat! and boring and boring. It's time for it to go. It's time for me to use my magnificent artistic skills to create something that looks just as bad, but at least isn't flat and slightly less boring. The first step was for me to find a font to use throughout the game. And I chose first to look at this website, which has a ton of categories that you can look through and oh, Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting from that, but that definitely wasn't it. It has a ton of categories that you can look through of different fonts. Some of them are completely free to use, and uh, I like this one, so we're gonna use that. I then started working on some of the art for the game, which I decided to go with a pixel art design, because I feel like that's what I'm the best at. Kind of. And on top of this, I completely redesigned the UI for the store, and I added tooltips so that you actually know what you're clicking on instead of the alternative of not knowing. And because I'm the one developing this, and you guys won't know this too much because this is only my second video, but as per usual, things went very, very wrong throughout this process, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to this brief game not happy computer explodey montage. Well, that's not centered.
Nope, still not centered. Oh, oh my god, it won't stop. Imagine in combat. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, all right. I, I see this this uh this this bear coming at me right here. No, it's not. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while well, your propeller hat is going fucking and your ham, bro. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Now, unfortunately, not only is this project taking so much longer than I thought it would, but I have so much footage left, not to mention the game isn't even complete yet, so I've decided to split this project into multiple videos. So in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another one of my videos where I make something absolutely insane, and if there's something you absolutely hated about this video, please let me know very loudly in the comments below. And make sure you stay tuned for part two! Oh,